Welcome, one and all, uh, Steel Creed here with another Let's Play a Mod. And the mod for today, or at least as many days as it takes to complete this thing, shouldn't be too long, it's quite a short mod, uh, is called Dissolution, a puzzle shooter with a sort of sci-fi feel that came out around February of this year. That's 2011 if you're watching this in the far-flung future. And who knows, you might be. Um, now, I was intending to play this as a blind playthrough, just to give my first impressions. The thing is, this game involves a lot of wandering in very samey grey corridors. Now, admittedly, it does have some good points as well. It's not just a carbon cutout corridor shooter, oh no. Um, however, I find that it's not very entertaining to watch someone just blindly blither about in a very samey clone cutout corridors, so I played it all the way through, just to see what it was like and to get my bearings, and then I made the let's play. So without further ado, let's go straight into it. Now I warn you, this has a very long introduction. I formed Exterior Limited on February 5th, 2051, as a space resort company. No, he doesn't get I any cheerier. I was already a billionaire. It was not a desire to make money that drove me to establish Exterior. Back then, Earth's nations were busy destroying each other, fighting over land and political ideology. I wanted a place to go where there were no politics, no war, and no devastation. A place where you could relax and enjoy life. Well, that meant going into space. You know what? I'll give you a summation there of the plot. In Earth that would Billionaire do. builds so tourist destination, Earth gets destroyed, tourist destination exterior. turns into last sanctuary of humanity run by one giant corporation. Company, at last, Chaos ensues. Best resort, the exterior lunar colony. And I'd love to be able to tell you I could skip this. I was but I can't. Move in. I apologize. But soon, being the businessman I am, I realized that this was a new viable market. People wanted to leave the horrors of Earth life. Soon, I was oversubscribed, and in order to accommodate this new demand, I ordered the creation of a second colony, Exterior Mars. Perhaps some samba music in the background. The event of 2067, the fall of Earth, was completely unexpected. When the devastating natural disaster hit, Earth was still too busy fighting each other to even truly notice. In a blink of an eye, my customers and I were the only remaining humans alive. Oh wow. I can't the entirety of Earth's population is made up of tourists. I was Had you wonder now, why everything goes to hell? Humanity's survival. Despite the loss of Earth, humanity was now more united than ever. United under one common corporation, there was no war, no competition, no hostilities. Yep. Corporate rulership, as video games and films have shown, is always good. Permanent habitats, and built new habitats to meet the population increases. Exterior 581C was finished 15 years ago, in the year 2074. It was particularly remarkable in that it was the most far out colony to date, and communication between it and Central HQ were going to be problematic. Woodrow Bell was chosen as its managing director. Yep, in far out, gone in the edge of civilization. Exterior 581C rapidly grew to become one of the most successful colonies, second only to the lunar colony in terms of economics. Or so they thought. Alright. I'm not one for introductions, so I'll be quick about it. My name is Dr. Wilson, and we have a job to be doing. First, though, we need to get out of this sector. There should be an airlock around here somewhere that should lead to residential. Okay, that was Dr. Wilson. He will be our guide for most of this game, and he will sound as enthusiastic all the time. There we go. Check your objectives by pressing tab. Now, as much as I might disparage the story at the beginning, this game is 
were quite nicely story driven. There are a few twists and turns which you might not expect to begin with, uh, and it sometimes keeps up the tension. Other times it just lets it down. Ooh. Hmm. Oh well, at least it adds a bit of colour to the corridors. And our first weapon. Yeah, the animations are a little slow. You tend to swing and shoot like you have arthritis. Oh, fiddlesticks. They must have installed a keycard system since I was last here. Well, with a little luck, the keycard should be around here somewhere. Indeed, he does say more things than fiddlesticks, uh, but they're all along the same line. I think he says Jiffy at one point. Okay, so the rooms and the graphics, uh, they're okay. Oh yes, and there's also this story element lifted straight out of Bioshock. Just the ticket. Now, oh. you slide that through the card reader, and I'll let you in. So, what's that? And we can listen to the audio logs. You know, these would be great if they actually, you know, gave a lot of exposition in a short amount of time, but sadly they take a while and they're quite quiet. However, it's a nice touch, and I'll give them that. Right, hold up a moment. I'll quickly get you up to speed before we go any further. Thanks. I have a job that I need doing. A job that will be of benefit to every citizen of Exterior. I'm not able to do it myself, and so I'll guide you. Of course not. I need you to trust me. Otherwise, what would be the point? Because this place is dangerous, and you're no use to me dead. Now, you're more or less in the residential sector. My old yeah. surgery is located up past Glee Square. Okay. Get to it, and you should find my old pistol. You're going to be needing that, and a hell of a lot more if you're going to survive. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of being directed around these corridors, and all you've really got for locational devices are these signs, which can get a little irritating. It'd be nice to have someone to ask for directions, but sadly that's not going to happen, given that everyone seems to be trying to kill you. Not much explanation as to why, but they are all trying to kill you in various ways. Thankfully, they're all stupid, uh, which I will demonstrate to you later. Okay, your main source of health is beastly brandy. Uh, they can be found lying around, which is there, or they can be got from uh, vending machines, which require no money. Brilliant value out here in the edges of space. So, from that, and from the numerous audio logs lying around, you should be able to tell that this is definitely going for a Bioshock feel. Um, you see, even the signs lying around, if you remember the opening of Bioshock with all those various protest billboards lying around. They all have their own stuff. Now, I really should play you a few more of these, because you need a bit more exposition on the story, which would be nice. I met with Graham Bell this morning, Woodrow Bell's son. He wouldn't know that he's the spawn of that devil. He was humble, but sharp. Embittered by his father's uncaring attitude, but he clouded so much that he cannot see reality. I think, after a few more conversations with him, he may well be interested in joining our army. So, Mr. Goldman will be turning up a lot in our audio logs. He seems to have been the leader of some kind of protest against Woodrow Bell, who was the head of this space station. Still is, as far as you know. Um, if you ever actually get around to finding him. Uh, I'm pretty confident we're supposed to go this way. Indeed we were. Yeah, all the corridors look fairly similar, so you're going to get lost a couple of times. That's it. Not exactly the latest hardware on the market, but it's better than nothing. Now, before you head over to the tunnels, you'll need to power up the train. You can do that from the rundown restaurant beside Graham Bell's old place. That's where you need to be heading now. With my promotion came that many That is benefits. Wilson again. Unlimited funding. Endless resources. You can just stop the these with the X button. 
Uh, I'd like to say a bit about the quality of the models. Uh, this gun model, really nice. Computers and other stuff lying around, not so much. There is a good level of detail, but it's not brilliant. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because it's a mod, and you can tell how extensive some of these levels are just after 10, 20, an hour's worth of just sort of running around, um, trying to be optimistic about where you should go next. Um, but they're also lacking a little bit. The posters are nice, I like the posters. Uh, again, this Bioshock feeling going on. But, um, yeah. It could be better. You see more stuff lying around. Uh, look for these signposts as much as uh, possible, because they all offer their own little expositions on the story. More about the protests. Goldman came to see me today. What a change to talk with someone who genuinely cares. Days I have known Goldman, he has been a far better counsel than my father ever has been. He told me to meet him up at his place in exterior mansions for a cup of tea. Well, well, that's all very interesting, and I'm sure your cup of tea was very pleasurable, but we have places to go. There we go. Oh, another thing to say about this game is that it has really nice music, actually. I don't know whether you heard it on the opening uh, menu. But the audio is really well designed. Well, at least the music part of it. And, of course, it does have voice acting. That should do it. Head back out of exterior residential and back towards the tunnel access airlock. Uh, wait. Oh, curse it. Stay where you are and get ready for a fight. Looks like a whole bunch of citizens heard you. Stand uh, ready now. Yes, our first shooting gallery. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> yes, the shooting in this game is not complicated. Mainly because everyone seems to queue up. It, it's a little embarrassing, actually. I, I feel sorry for all those citizens who sort of just walk through the door into gunfire. Their AI is, well, non-existence. It's not exactly intelligence. They just tend to walk through the door, see where you are, and then just stand there shooting at you in plain sight. Now, we activated the train controls, which means we get our first chance to play a train level. Yay. Should we ever actually be able to access it? There we go, we have to... Yeah, this game also likes backtracking a lot. You'll be seeing the same great corridors over and over again. And it really just seems a way to fill out time. Although, like I said, there's a lot of work that's gone into this level design, and it's very, very extensive. It's just so boring. I mean, it's the same shade of grey. Anyway, let's keep on. We have a train to catch. Not a, not a particularly fast train, but a train nonetheless. Onwards. <laughs> 